in the social media justice system. Ignorance-based offenses are considered especially ludicrous. On the enter of the net, the dedicated she-tectives who investigate these absurdities are members of an elite squad known as the Caught Being Ignorant Unit. These are their stories. Consequence. Hey, repercussion girl. Have you heard this story about the trigger and the book? Girl, what is it, a hood Harry Potter story? (laughs) I wish it were that simple. Girl, take a look at this. Do you think Empress will take the case? Child, this is a case if I've ever seen detectives. Consequence, repercussion. What are you two gawking at? So I was showing repercussions a case that you might be interested in. Oh, really? Lay it on me, detective. We're calling it the trigger and the book. And I don't think you're going to like it. More video footage. Yeah. Brace yourself, Empress. This is going to get ignorant. I'm just not going to just sit it and just shoot it. No, I'm going to stand behind it. Sometimes wanting to go viral can cost you your life. Pedro Ruiz wanted to go viral, and he wanted to start his channel off with a bang. For more than a month, he was begging his girlfriend, Mona Lisa Perez, to help him with the video by firing a bullet into a book he had. She was really hesitant at first, saying things like, babe, I'm not doing it. Pedro had showed her a book that he fired into, and the bullet that he used didn't fully pierce the hardcover book. He told her that as long as she hit the book like this, he would be okay. I may fail, but if I fail, I want to die trying. Sadly, she did hit the book, and it went right through and into Pedro. His girlfriend received a 90-day jail sentence, and also 90 days at home in confinement. She is now permanently banned from owning a firearm, and the sad part is, she was pregnant with their second child, and now her kids have to grow up without a thing I'm going to be showing you guys on my channel, you guys are going to be saying, Damn it, boy. For more than a month, Mona Lisa Perez said her boyfriend had been begging her to launch his YouTube channel with a bang. So, babe, let's go ahead and uh, show them what we have in store for our first video. On June 26th last year, she says she finally gave in. Perez told investigators that Pedro Ruiz had showed her a book before where a bullet didn't fully pierce a hardcover book. I'm just not going to just sit it and just shoot it. No. I'm going to stand behind it, and Mona Lisa is going to shoot it. For 15 minutes, the camera first captures his rambling plans. Every week, I'm going to be bringing you guys new videos, crazy videos. Before, he shows off what's been billed as the world's most powerful handgun. This is a 50 caliber Desert Eagle. 19-year-old Perez is seven months pregnant with their second child. Well, the Norman County attorney denied releasing video of the single shot that killed Ruiz, calling it offensive to common sensibilities. A transcript of the audio reveals her hesitation. Babe, I'm not doing this. I can't. If I kill you, what's going to happen to my life? Like, no, this isn't okay. As long as you hit the book, you'll be fine, Ruiz says. These pictures show she did, standing an arm's length away. A young man craving fame who got it for all the wrong reasons. I may fail, but if I fail, I want to die trying. For her part, Perez received a 90-day jail sentence. She'll serve 90 more days at home in confinement. Perez will also not be allowed to profit from the video, and she is permanently banned, Amelia, from owning a firearm. Thank you, Liz. So, Empress, are we going to take the case? Absolutely, my dear Watson. Consequence, repercussion. Call the girls together. It's time for a debriefing. Make sure they have chairs and tell them to scoot up for a second and let's chat. Roger that, Empress. Repercussion. Let's go. Detectives, thank you for joining me in the debriefing room. We have another ignorant case presented to us by social media, and it is absolutely ludicrous. We're calling this story The Trigger and the Book. And here's the story. A young man decides to create the perfect stunt in order to launch his YouTube channel. The stunt, having his girlfriend place a gold desert eagle to a book against his chest and pulling the trigger. And if I only had a brain... Needless to say, it didn't work out how he planned. He's no longer here and the girlfriend has been charged in his unaliving. But why? All for fame? Is the price you have to pay for fame 
worth the fame itself. If we could ask Pedro, what do you think he would say? Just like all money ain't good money, all fame ain't good fame. What do you want to be known for? Pedro is now known for the stunt that didn't work. So he achieved what he requested, but not the way he wanted it. Be careful what you ask for and what you're willing to do to get it. This is the danger of always wanting a one-up. Always wanting to be bigger. Never being satisfied. Fame for some is a drug. All inhibition goes out the window because it's become your obsession. Fame. Wanting to be seen. Wanting to be noticed. Wanting a following. We used to have a saying, go big or go home. We didn't think we had to place a warning label on it when we put it out. Everybody wants to be seen so bad, they'll do anything, including putting their own life in danger to get it. You don't stop to think about who you'll hurt, who you'll leave behind, who'll be affected, including yourself. Who'll have to answer for your foolishness when you're gone? Now this young lady has a charge of manslaughter because she allowed her children's father to talk her into participating in a stunt that could injure him and her. Is this what y'all think love is? Being a ride or die? Going along with foolishness just to say you've got somebody's back? Now a family has to struggle with the loss. Children have to struggle with not having their dad. And this girlfriend has to struggle with knowing she's the one pulled the trigger. You always have freedom of choice. You don't always have freedom of consequence. And this is the consequence of his choice. See, that's what y'all don't stop to think about. Consequences. When did we lose common sense? Because common sense, sense that should be common to everyone, just isn't common anymore. Because who does this? One of the first things our parents tells us is don't play with guns. They aren't toys. They aren't props for stunts. They are weapons. They're to protect and defend. But these weapons in the hands of the immature can be detrimental. A gun has one purpose, to immobilize, to exact deadly force and deadly consequences against the one it's fired at. And you would willingly play with one for laughs and giggles and for a wow factor. And if I only had a brain. If I only had a brain. You should want to be known for leaving a legacy, for making change, for starting a revolution, for creating change, not for creating a channel. Some of y'all like to tempt fate, tempt the sands of time, hanging out of car windows at top speeds, working on top of moving cars. Same thing, power in the hands of the immature because even with vehicles, you don't understand the power you have in your possession. Life matters, but it has to first matter to you. I expect better from you. So I would hope you would expect better from yourselves. Always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Dismissed.